One hour maximum for nine rounds revolt. Yeah, let's see it go on sale. The first winter chills spread rapidly throughout Alfheim, enveloping the lands with its frozen grip. Despite the approaching cold, Fjolnir, a young light elf, left early in the morning to hunt leather for the refugees. A faction of Ragnarok survivors led by Frey, his adopted mother. That doesn't have anything to do with many things. As he sneaked through the trees, he spotted a pack of wolves and his ranger training kicked in. They look an awful lot like foxes, those wolves. Okay, deep breaths. Choo. The forest wolf mother. Prize out. In nine rounds of you must destroy your opponent's banners before they destroy yours. Okay. The game board is divided into three lanes. Mid, left, right. Uh, left, mid, right. Yeah, okay. Each lane has a banner, two unit slots, and a trap slot. <gasps> Yu-Gi-Oh! Trap slot. Trap card. Your turn is divided into two phases. The main phase and the attack phase. During the main phase, you can play cards and move units between lanes. During the attack phase, you can attack. This is your draw pile. Down here, behind Nemo's face. And... On the other side is the discard. You can spend mana to play things. That's your mana. Up to maximum 10. Click and drag the sun basking wolf in the middle lane. They've got two values here. That's the health. At the end, at the start of my turn, they are healed. That's the attack. Okay. On the first turn of each battle, the attack phase is skipped to allow both players a chance to add units to the board. It's now your opponent's turn. And they are playing. Vice. A mischievous pixie. It's your turn again. Play two bright fairies in any lane. Any lane? No. So the the banners have numbers on them. We haven't talked about that yet, have we? What's with the five? It is now your attack phase. Unions can attack any banner regardless of what lane they're in. After attacking, they become tapped. It will not be able to block on your opponent's turn. Your units untap at the start of your turn. Use a unit to attack the middle banner. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take the fairy and attack there. Each banner has a die that will automatically protect it from attacks as well. Aha! If the banner is attacked and no blocker is chosen, the die will block the take and take the damage equal to the attacker's attack. Once it's removed to zero. What? I will block and take damage equal to the attacker's attack. Okay, so they block all the damage. Unless there is a special mechanic that lets creatures go through their dice. Okay. Your dice are replaced and rolled at the start of your turn. Aha! So your blocking per banner changes every turn. Interesting. Yeah, I'll take the wolf now. Units will always try to attack the banner. So you target a lane and then you see what happens. They can use an untapped unit in the lane to block. If a unit blocks each, the unit suffers damage equal to their opponent's attack. So, you know, attacker and blocker. Boom. I win. Uh, units will restore to full health at the end of your to each of your... Well, it said earlier at the start of my turn. That's different. Yeah. They are slightly tapped. And they're not blue. Uh, the banner is exposed. Win the battle because it's the only banner they've got left. Yeah. All right. I like the style of this game. The graphics. 
Easier than expected. Thanks to your sacrifice, my people will be protected. The trap. Ecstatic with his hunt, Fjolnir packed the leather for transport and started back to his village, humming a song his mother used to sing him to sleep. Stuff and things. What's going on? Story exposition. We have two banners on the enemy side. The battle's already in progress. <laughs> yeah, you can only block the the lane you're in. Okay, two, two fairies to the right. That's a two and three against a five and four. Let's see. Move your light elf spearmaster from the left to the middle. Um, I'm not sure if they really need to make you do this tutorial and call it first chapter of the story. Anyway. You can etch your die to one of your units giving it plus one plus one to one attack one health or your turn. And etch, what's etching? Etch your middle unit with your left die. That means I don't have a blocker. Ah, oh, but there ban there's no banner here. Units always deal one damage to the banner. When a banner is damaged, it's called a rally and the owner of that banner will draw a card. Some cards have rally effects that force them to be drawn and activate when drawn this way. Okay. So that's the luck of the draw. That means a smaller deck with more rally effects is more efficient, potentially. Now they can't block because they're tapped. They've got one die that blocks. And now we destroy the battle. That's a rally. We drew two cards. Made them, untap the magma worm. Since the enemy is targeting your middle banner and your unit is untapped, you can use it to block. The untapped units can block as many times as they can, so think about when to block a unit. Yeah, now I would survive it because of the plus one from the dice. You can use it to block again. How are they attacking when they were just played? Hmm. So the first one will be blocked. Oh no, there's no dice. Yeah, we have to. Otherwise we would have lost. I got a rally and drew a card. Now we've got block four, block three. We can finish them off. Yeah, they don't have any banners here. Main phase done. And now we attack. Uh, it doesn't really matter who attacks the banner because they always do one damage. But it does attack, uh, it doesn't matter which one takes the dice, right? Okay. I'm still waiting for more mechanics on the cards. Aha, now we get into that. The decadent historian has an on play effect. Creature cannot be. Oh, we're probably gonna get to that. Choose an enemy die, change its value to one. <gasps> Wait. On attack, if you're blocked by die, change its value to one as well. Okay. I'll play it here. Change it. The sun golem. 
can't be blocked by units with one or less attack. Eh? I'm gonna play it here. There are also spell cards. They have immediate effect. Stampede. Costs a lot of mana. Deals damage. Needs to clear most of the middle banners defenses. On rally, deal, deal 3 damage to all enemy creatures in the banners lane. On play, deal 3 damage to all enemy creatures. Okay. And the die. You can do a lot in your turn. Okay. Die, 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 die. Hmm. Now we are learning traps. That's this slot here, I guess. the sun flare when this banner is attacked prevent the attack and deal two damage to all enemy minions minions means every everything the radiant unicorn when this banner is attacked summon this creature if possible Very nice play it as a unit Interesting. Mm -hmm. Cheat out the mana cost by trapping. Yeah. No attackers. Not an attacker. I beg to differ. Now we summon. Summon the unicorn as a trap. Ooh, I'm allowed to do it myself. Okay. And we've got a fairy. And make that a one. Got five mana left. I'm not sure if it's super important. Let's see, the biggest die is this one. Also, uh, yeah, right, we're still in the We're still in the main phase. Let's see if we can get through this. Uh, back here to remove the die and then finish that back off. Same here. Yeah, we're missing. Could I have played that differently? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. I played those. Well, I'm going to play another wolf. They, did, they didn't leave any uh, blockers. So this is the end of the tutorial. We play one match for ourselves. Um, I think the dice, the die mechanic is cool. 
but I'm not sure if it's enough to make the game stand out amongst all the other deck builders. Uh, I do like the fact that we don't have a map where we choose the next encounter like all the other deck builders do. do. Choose a five or more enemy creature if possible and tap. Oh, we can keep that. If three or more of your creatures attack this turn, draw a card. Ooh. We can do that twice. No, we only got three mana, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna play two creatures. And... Uh, and that's not really a blocker, is it? That would take it away here. Okay, let's see. How does that work then? Etching it. We've got a spear. Oh, a spear master. A blade singer. When this creature attacks, draw a card. Edge yellow die. When this creature attacks, draw a card. Okay. Oh, they're a different color die. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. We only saw yellow or white or whatever this is supposed to be. Five or more, they cost four. Nah, that's a pity. Um, I don't really have a great blocker for the Fear Master, so I'm gonna play a wolf in that lane. And I think we're gonna work through this. Oh, right. Remove that. The, the dice will all block a su sufficient amount, so I'm going to attack the banner. So they got a three instead. Oh, they played a trap. It's only a two. Rude. Untap all friendly creatures at this banner. Hmm. We've got five. So it's a Wyvern. Wyvern. And a nomad. Uh, that's a three four pixie, but that's block uh, tapped. So I have free rain here. I can use these two to knock out that banner. Unless the trap stops me from doing that. But uh, I'll just risk it. I'm not so sure why it took damage. Right, some something happened. Ah, on rally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was a rally effect from the unicorn. I didn't get that at first. Okay. I wasted the Nomad after all. That was not my intention. Uh, let's see what happens now. Huh? Pixie Pollen. Uh, I should be able to read that instead of having to click here. When a creature attacks, it's better prevent the attack all enemy creatures that they cannot attack for this turn. We still have three creatures attack. 
all the edging. Draw a card on the attack is great, but six mana is a lot as well. So I'm gonna. Gonna play some vibrance. Hmm. They could block here for a lot. And they are blocking four over there. through them. Right. Yeah, they're blocking. Okay, we throw the Nomad at them. And because they only have two attackers, we should be fine. Oh, they decided. This destroys a die draw card, okay. Which is one damage. And tap all friendly creatures. I'm not sure when this is going to be useful, but not at the moment. Uh, but it makes sense to play it here. Maybe? I can play two more. Like this. Music is weird. <laughs> Throat singing after a while is weird uh, so let's see if they block they don't let's see if they block they don't we draw a card nice uh, oh I would have I would have wished to to rally this <laughs> that was wrong. I should have done it the other way around. Uh, yeah, I definitely should have done it the other way around. Okay, let's see. You're gonna get killed. And then I'm saving them to block. I risk a rally effect. Or hope that they block. Hmm, no, I'm risking a rally. I'm not gonna attack them. Oh, the column. Uh, that's a 4 2. Why do they want to attack? No, I'm going to take a hit there. Ah, that's a stampede. Oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't have taken the hit, I guess. I'm going to lose that banner. Oh, they didn't attack. Ah, of course, they need to protect their last... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay, so unicorn. That's three damage. And then we send the wolf in. They are already tapped. Put them here. And pixie. And another pixie. A fairy, sorry. 
Now, we're going to send the wolf in the block. And then we win. Yeah, I mean... That was the tutorial. Now we have access to decks. We can create our own decks out of creatures and spells. Um, a cat was not so great. Um, I'd rather recommend uh, Super Liminal. Um, it has a very similar idea. Not not the same. It's very similar. Um, but it was trying to tell us a story that was... That was not great. Uh, the pacing was awful. I don't know. I mean, I'm also... It's it's not for me. I'm not the target audience of Macat as such. Right? It was not very horrible as a game, but it also wasn't very great. So... <laughs> it's not... I'm not going to recommend it to anyone. Um, this here is... Attempting to be different, but I don't think it's achieving it. Uh... Um, the current effects the current effects are I mean these are the starting cards right choose a creature it gets plus two, plus two for this turn. One, two, three, yellow die. I don't know what that means. We've got three yellow die. Is that what it means? I create a, a dangerous warrior then. Ah, that's a spell. Now we've got plus two, plus two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have done that differently. I see now. Okay. And we play the mischievous pixie. They've got red die. On attack, you do random damage. That's a lot of random damage. Wow. Save the pixie by etching a die. I'm not sure I'd be able to save them. Oh. I could go for this die and draw a card on destroying it. Or I could go for this banner and try to get rid of these dudes. That now we need to get rid of them. Uh, the pixie will survive it, and they will destroy the die, and we draw a card. That wasn't too bad. I didn't draw a card though. Hmm. It was risky. I'm not sure why I didn't. Destroy the die and draw a card. It's a bit odd. Uh, let's play a trap here. Yeah, the card art is good. 
The title is very accurate for that for that game. <laughs> um, trap card and immune blue. Okay. Now that's all the energy expended. Uh, do I need? I need blockers. Now this should destroy, die, and we draw a card. Okay, that happened. Right, and we keep them as blockers. They didn't attack. Ah, they didn't attack yet. Natal, thank you so much for the resource. You're on the roll. Name Nemo here's to other month of happiness smile. <laughs> thank you so much. Awesome. That's much appreciated. Natal, welcome in. I'm getting smashed to bits here. I only got one banner left. We're gonna, we're gonna use the pixie to kill that one. But I'm not sure I can afford one of the huge mana cost ones. Can I play them as traps? No. Uh, the nomad is useless in this case. You need to somehow play this mid-combat. Hmm. Some of the wording is also not clear. I don't know if you etch a die onto a creature, the die doesn't get destroyed. So if you etch any yellow die and one of your die is destroyed, untap this creature. I'm not sure if that's really what's going on here. Um. See? Yeah, and the Nomad for the extra damage. Mm. So. Can we win this turn? Right, there's one attack to remove this, and that is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If nothing unforeseen happens, I think I win. Oh, they could get, of course, a rally effect that's nasty. Yeah, that was risky business. If that wouldn't have worked because they could have pulled every time you destroy a banner, they draw a card and some cards have rally effects, which then trigger, that could have been bad. Um, but I don't feel like I'm making proper good decisions. Um, it's... Um, it looks like we can have more factions and more... more dice colors like yellow blue black and red i think there are four dice colors um oh green as well maybe five or nine i don't know if it's nine realms um some of the cards that i started with were super boring and i didn't really feel like i was playing a fun deck builder but it was also they made it so that uh, that anybody can play this without any previous knowledge in deck builder games, right? So you can just fire it up and it plays 
very low low strategy in the beginning and uh, some of these effects i couldn't really place them as to when are they going to be useful right I, c I can't really see um the fact that you have these this random factor these dice they get re-rolled every turn every time it's your turn they get re-rolled and they are one a defense they block for the amount they show and they also increase a creature's attack and health by one if you put the dice if you remove the dice from the from the block roll and put it onto the creature but i haven't yet figured out when when you want to you remove it as a blocker and use it as a bonus so you are checking lots of numbers it's a bit like magic the gathering in that regard you check a lot of numbers like who kills which creature kills what and um, since you have freedom to attack any of the enemy's banners which is the goal from from all these positions where you put a, a card right you've got six slots for creatures plus three traps um, so you are creating kind of a huge player board but it didn't yet feel like i was making informed choices because uh, i was just placing cards and kind of doing things i couldn't anticipate what the enemy was doing i couldn't judge what my deck would bring so when to play which card some cards seem to be completely useless in the in the situation and in the in the deck as well um so I'm not sure if it's if it's balanced or you know if the mechanics really work well together, but it certainly is an interesting uh, presentation, and I like the fact that I have not seen this kind of board. Um, there are not many deck builders that work with lanes. I remember that the Elder Scrolls one had lanes, I think, and then there's Banners of Ruin, which has three lanes that go up. Um, so. It's another an innovative looking game, but I'm not so sure if it does play innovative or if is if it's ultimately um, just number checking as as for other deck builders, right? I'm I'm not really sure. Like remember we we played this one. Uh, what was that called? That also had a very cool. Uh, let me check. A very cool art style and uh, dice mechanics as well. I think it was something with A. Man, it's raining like... Wow. Was it something with A? Astrea, Six-Sided Oracles. That's the one I was thinking about. Um, that also had... Um, it looked innovative. It had a, die, a die, dice mechanic in it. It was a deck builder as well and uh, it was more of the classic slay the spire left versus right uh, so i'm gonna just <laughs> that's the one i was thinking about oh yeah forgotten city uh i will not look at anything Uh, no links, Nemo, that's rude. See, uh, that's a nice uh, uh, deck builder with the dice mechanic as well, but it does a more classic, uh, basic presentation, but it felt very different when I played it. And this here does a different presentation with the three, three lanes and the banners instead of a shared health pool. But it feels a lot like I was playing Magic the Gathering or a similar deck builder where you have this moment where you have to check how many attackers have they got how many blockers do i have how many attack points do they have how many health points do my blockers have uh, and you calculate the whole damage uh situation in your head uh to figure out what what a smart move would be next of course that's part of the fun for some players for others it's where they go into snooze mode um i guess this this lands kind of somewhere in the middle but there's a lot there's a lot of interaction possible here and it, currently after one 
two sessions where I could play or one two battles that I could play on my own without the tutorial intervening it felt a bit like it's too random with you do damage to a banner the enemy draws a card it could be an effect that levels half your playing field or not um so you have to risk a lot to make informed choices uh you need to know a lot of cards uh which is not bad as such you know that would mean you get better with this uh, with with every game you play you get better in this but it also makes it hard to to start playing it and feeling like you're knowing that it makes sense to play this later and this now other games do it differently they let you in early your decisions obviously you know make sense if you do this this happens if you do that that happens that's not so clear in this one but it is interesting because of that so for what it's worth um hopefully they put out a demo again soon or is there a demo available there's a demo available at the moment so if you want to take a spin at nine realms revolt there's a demo on steam at the moment awesome there's uh, probably a link there <laughs> no there's definitely a link to the steam store uh, to nine realms revolt in the discovery list so you can check it out um what was batwoman doing in my chat that's rude Mm. What the VOD doesn't work. What's up with the VOD? Uh, next game on today's playlist is Mad Max. Before we play Mad Max, though, I'm gonna go for a short break. Right? I need to grab a bite and another coffee, I think. Mad Max. But yeah, Nine Rames Revolt. It wasn't too bad. I'm uh, I'm just not convinced. It's a bit of a brainy game. Which is good, but that also makes it hard to check it out completely in one hour. One bite or eight bits? I have to choose? I want eight bites. 16 bit maybe. <laughs> I wanna stop the game, stop! Stop it! Spooder. So, yeah, anyway. The throat singing soundtrack is um, not enjoyable after 30 minutes. <laughs> it's just, that's just a fact. It has a story thing going that I don't really care about, but it could be neat. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're still working on it. Maybe they'll uh, tune it a bit more. They didn't play games in the Viking Ages. Oh, I think they did. They didn't have printers? That's so rude. You and brainy games don't mix. You normally just quit. It's not super brainy, but you know, it needs a bit of um it needs a bit of attention to numbers uh in in detail and as a whole, and that's it's really not for everybody. <laughs> Badger! You don't do thinking. Well that's smart. You shouldn't. <laughs> Awesome. So thank you for joining me up to this point in today's discovery stream. I will be back uh, shortly.